Okay, part two, graphing functions using domain of all real numbers. Okay, so here's what we did. Use the function to generate ordered pairs by choosing several values for x. Plot enough points to see a pattern for the graph. Connect the points with a line or smooth curve. Okay? All right. When you have a line, guys, your x is raised to the power of 1. When you have a curve, it's when your x is squared. Okay? All right, so we're going to graph this function. And what we need to do first is solve for y, which is solve for y. I'm just going to write it in our slope-intercept form. If you don't know what that is, we'll learn that in Unit 4. All right, so you're making your own table this time. You have your x. You have your function, and then you have your ordered pair. Okay? We have to decide what to substitute in for, or what to input for our x value. So, if you don't have a fraction in front of your x, what you probably ought to use most of the time are these domain values, okay? Alright, so, we're going to input negative 2, so negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, so our x value is 2, our y value is 8. Alright, then we're going to input negative 1, so negative 3 times negative 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. We're going to input 0. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. We're going to input 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And then for our last one, we're going to input 2. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Okay. Then we need to graph. Okay. Again, we're going to go by 2's. Okay, so we have negative 2, positive 8. We have negative 1, positive 5. We have 0, 2. We have positive 1, negative 1. And we have positive 2, negative 4. I knew that this was going to be a line before I even graphed it because the power with my x is 1. Okay, now we're going to use a graph of the function f of x equals negative 1x plus 4 to find the value of f of x when x equals negative 4 and then check your answer. Okay, so what we need to do first is we need to substitute or input negative 4 for x and simplify. Negative 1 half times negative 4 is going to give me, what is that, positive 4 over 2, 2. 2 plus 4 is going to give me 6. Okay, so what this is saying is when x is negative 4, my y is going to be 6. Alright, so let's do tick lines 2 again. Alright, so 
one point I know is going to be at negative 4, 6. So that's 2, 4, 6. Okay, um, we need one more point. So, since this is one half, why don't we use, um, let's say, 2 for f of x. So, negative 1 half times 2 plus 4. So, negative 1 half times 2 is negative 1. So, I get 3. So, when x is 2, y is 3. And then there's my second point. Remember, you need at least two points to make a graph. Okay, guys, I think we're going to stop there. I've given you enough. So have a good evening.